Ты ваш наказан, нужна Меня кокаина My main influences for well, the new sound I started was like I wanted to go back a little bit old school, a little bit more underground, um, and then basically do whatever I felt like doing, not being true to specifically one sound. So I feel I'm way more open-minded. Uh, but we've been listening, me and my manager, have been listening to a lot of uh, old school tracks like 20, 30 years ago, and not always remake them but get inspired by it and capture like the vibes we had back in the days try to yeah make it make something like that again yeah so basically just before covid hit my sound i just got a little bit tired of the big room stuff and doing the same old um and i Actually, I literally went in the studio without any expectations, also from fans, because you start catering to the fans as well, to the record label you're working with. Um, and from there on, I slowly got more and more freedom. And I remember putting in the first techno kick. I was a bit scared because I was like, wait, this is a techno kick, like a proper rumble techno kick. But it's still kind of big roomy. How will people react to it? I showed my friends, they were like, dude, this is insane. I was like, okay, if you guys like it, I like it, then why not? And I've just been more experimental. I feel like now I do like the trendy kind of stuff, trends influences, uh, some techno, some hard techno. Honestly, I don't care. Sometimes I play, last time at a state of trends, I played 168 BPM at the end. If it works in my set, I'm just gonna play it. And if I'm, I want to dance to it, then it can go in my set. Um, so yeah, the support from big techno names has been a huge influence. And to be honest, like when I started this, my goal wasn't, it was not to be a techno DJ or be accepted in the techno world because I felt it was quite strict. Um, so slowly building it up and seeing actual actual big techno names supporting my music, I was actually surprised and uh, really really happy about it. It's yeah, as I said, I never would have thought I would be accepted. Um, I don't even see myself now as a techno DJ, but it's definitely techno influenced, and I just enjoy it so much that because they support my music I played a few weeks ago in a proper techno club in Berlin and everyone there accepted it uh, but I also play a trance festival and I changed my set slightly and it fits right in between everywhere um, and I think like the support from the big names yeah made it possible for sure <laughs> yeah collaborations always uh, like working with big artists it's amazing um, especially with Hardwell, I've learned a lot from him. We've been friends for a long time now. And uh, yeah, I'm really appreciative what he's done, how smart he is in the studio. And actually, we've had calls, like he randomly calls me and tells me like a two hour nerd story about some production tricks and we're like discussing it and how it works. And I feel like I've always worked by myself on my own uh, exploring things but these small uh, pushes you get from working with a big artist it really helps you in understanding a little bit more of the technical aspect or a create creative aspect um, yeah I have a new collab with Oliver Heldens and like he's also super good in the studio in a different way that I am and uh, yeah you just learn and appreciate it a lot <laughs> So the events from Revealed that were like the, the best for me. I think the most important was last year Ultra Miami because it was my first real time playing Ultra Miami. Um, but we've done many cool shows. I used to go to ADE for example and then I started playing the Revealed parties and then I started playing the primetime things. And it's just, yeah, it's so cool to see. And actually I always, COVID when it hit, just before that it was Revealed. Uh, with Boat's House and it was my first time playing Boat's House luckily not the last because 
that was like the experience is just crazy. Like the crowd over there, insane, insane. <laughs> Um, so when starting my label, the reason was, yeah, I wanted to build a community because I feel like my sound is quite distinctive and I'm really selective in what I play in my sets. And to be honest, it's so difficult to find music of other artists that I can play because a lot of techno is a little bit too slow, not energetic enough. Uh, some hard techno is too hard again. and. Um, we figured like if we start a label and start showcasing people like this is kind of the music we want every single track for example that is released on Ecstatic I will be playing in my sets. I feel also that's really important to support smaller artists you can actually help them grow as well. Um, so we're really selective with the demos. <laughs> uh, we do not sign a lot but if we sign it you're assured that I will play it in my sets, um, I will post it on my Instagram and stuff and hopefully we can slowly start building a, a really cool community and then obviously we're also doing well we started with one own event in Boat's House uh, in February and we definitely want to start exploring more like do events around the world uh, invite the artists that release on Ecstatic and uh, yeah, slowly start building a select community. Yeah, the history of Boat Sauce, well, I think this was the second or third time I played, but every time it's just insane. Um, that's also the reason why we picked Boat Sauce because uh, first Heute Nacht went really viral in Germany, so it's a good location and Boatshaus is just, to be honest for me, top three clubs I've ever, ever played at. The crowd that goes there, they just go absolutely insane. Um, the sound system is good and they actually upgraded it for the, I think the, I had the first opening night. And Boatshaus is just iconic. It's an iconic venue, like when I was a kid, I saw videos from artists playing there. I was like, okay, I need to go here. So that's the reason we picked Boat House. Uh, we were really happy they wanted to collaborate to this event. And I'm, yeah, I was just amazed by the results. I was uh, fully packed, crazy energy. And the cool thing in Boat House, people stay till the end. If you go out to a club in the Netherlands, sometimes people are like, oh, now I go after the main artist or they start just drinking and not dancing. Boat house energy from the start. Like at 10 or 11 it opens, people go crazy. I love it. Um, so new music. I have actually yeah, quite a bit of uh, new collaborations and new music coming. Gonna play four new tracks at Ultra. Uh, what I'm really looking forward to. Uh, I have a collaboration with Oliver Haldens or Hilo. Um, collaboration with Dimitri Vegas like Mike. Um, some cool solo songs. And yeah, I'm gonna travel all around the world. Big festivals, uh, EDC, uh, some big festivals in Europe, Tomorrowland as well. So I'm really looking forward to it. And uh, hopefully an amazing summer. Hey, what's up guys, this is Maddox and congratulations to Boat House for the 20 year anniversary. Amazing club, stay like this and can't wait to rave with you again. Cheers.